Living organisms, such as plants and animals, are highly structured systems. In this video, we're going to look at the levels of organisation in multicellular systems, starting at the cellular level. The first level of organisation is cells. Cells are specialised to carry out a particular function, and in a previous video, we looked at some of these specialised cells. The next level up is tissues. A tissue is a group of similar cells working together to perform a particular function. For example, here we have a muscle cell and a muscle tissue would be a group of muscle cells working together to contract and relax to cause movement at a particular joint, for example. Other examples of tissues include the blood as well as nervous tissue. The next level up is an organ. An organ is a group of different tissues working together to perform a particular function. For example, here we've got a diagram of the stomach and the stomach is an example of an organ. Some examples of some tissues within the stomach are the epithelial tissue that covers the inside and outside of the stomach, glandular tissue that releases digestive juices, and muscular tissue that contracts to churn the food. So these three tissues and many more will work together to perform digestion within the stomach. Other examples of organs include the heart, the kidney and the lungs. The next level up is the organ system. An organ system is a group of different organs working together to perform a particular function. An example of this would be the digestive system. That is made up of several different organs, including the stomach and the liver and the intestines, all working together to perform digestion. As well as the digestive system, other organ systems in the human body include the skeletal system, the nervous system, the circulatory system, the male and female reproductive systems, the urinary system and the respiratory system. The final level is the organism. An organism is made up of several organ systems working together to perform the processes needed for life. A human is an example of an organism. Other examples of this highest level include the tree, a dog and a mushroom. So at this highest level, we are talking about the whole organism. We put this system into a hierarchy. At the bottom of this hierarchy, we have the cell. Many cells work together to form a tissue. The tissues then work together to make up an organ. Several organs work together to make up an organ system. And finally, several organ systems work together to make the complete organism. This hierarchy also exists within plants, so there are also many specialised plant cells that work together to form different plant tissues. Examples of tissues in the plant include things such as the epidermal tissue, the xylem and phloem, and the mesophyll tissue, which are all found in the leaf. And these plant tissues work together to form organs, for example, leaves, stems and roots. An example of a plant organ system would be the flower with the male and female reproductive parts. And altogether, all of the organ systems together would form the organism, which in this case is the whole plant. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.